One day, while scrolling through Twitter, I came across a comment suggesting that I make a video about creating real life Iman Gadji style thumbnails. As many of you know, Iman Gadji has a second channel where he posts vlogs and what really makes it stand out is its unique thumbnails. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create these types of thumbnails step by step. Plus, I'll be sharing the PSD file in the description so you can try it out yourself. And don't forget to hit the like button and let's jump into the tutorial. Unfortunately, I'm still not part of Iman Gadji's team, so I don't have access to his official images. The best way I found to use one was by taking a screenshot from one of his thumbnails. The image itself looks pretty good, but the resolution and details are too low, so I can't use it directly in today's thumbnail tutorial. I'll open the image in Photoshop and crop the thumbnail to keep only the right side, just like this. Then I'll export it and head over to the Pixel Cut website for the first upscale. I'll upload the image and wait for the AI to do its magic. As you can see, there's not a huge difference, so we'll need to upscale it again using Kraya AI to enhance the details. I've already covered these steps in detail in my previous videos, so I highly recommend checking them out if you need more guidance. Now, let's upload our image into Kraya. As you can see, the AI did a good job upscaling it, but unfortunately, the face doesn't quite resemble a Mangaji. To fix this, I'll use a website called Remake. I'll upload both the upscaled image and a headshot of Iman to perform a face swap. As you can see, the AI tools did a solid job. Here's the before and after. The face isn't perfect, but this is the best approach available. And then upload the image to Pixel Cut to uncrop it like this. Since many of you use a pirated version of Photoshop, this is currently the best alternative for generative fill. As you can see, the AI did a pretty good job with it. Now the real work begins. We have our image ready with all the details we need, so let's open Photoshop, create a new document with the usual sizes and upload our AI generated image onto the canvas. I'll resize it a bit to position Iman Gadji in the center. The key to creating these thumbnails is to keep everything clean, centered and well aligned. After that, we need to remove the background, or in other words, separate him from it, so we can apply a nice, soft camera raw filter, just like this. Honestly, this step takes the thumbnail to a whole new level. You might think it's just a basic adjustment, but it actually makes a big difference in making the thumbnail stand out. Now let's do the same thing for the background. Let's make it more colorful and boost the greens and the blues of the thumbnail, so it looks more eye-catching and saturated. Also, if you're enjoying the videos and the tips I'm sharing, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really helps me out and motivates me to keep making more content. Another thing we can do is add an inner glow to Iman Gadji, like this. It helps blend him better with the background and creates a more polished look. I might also consider adding some glow to make him stand out even more. Usually, Iman Gadji's thumbnail artist doesn't use this effect, but I think it's a nice addition that can enhance the overall look. After that, I'll select a bold font like this and write 2025, placing it behind him just like this. Next, we need to add the glass morphism effect that you often see in his thumbnails. So, stay focused and let's get started. First, you'll want to duplicate the background, just like this. Next, go to Filter, then Filter Gallery. From the Distort section, select Glass. You can play around with the settings until you find something you like. Feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot if you need to. After that, go to Filter again and add a Gaussian Blur from the section right here. It doesn't need to be too much. Something around 3 should be fine. As you can see, we're starting to get that nice look. To make it look more realistic, add some grain using the Camera Raw Filter, just like this. Now place it on top of the 2025 layer and clip mask it into that layer, just like this. Now double click the 2025 layer and add a bevel and emboss effect like this. You can play around with the settings until it looks good. Also add a soft stroke like this, some inner glow to make it more glassy, a color overlay and finally a drop shadow to make it stand out from the background, just like this. Now you can merge all the layers into one and apply a high pass effect to increase the texture and make everything more crisp and clear. And that's it everyone. Here's a tutorial on how to create this Iman Gadji style thumbnail. He has other styles he uses on his channel, but personally, I find this one the most interesting to learn. If you have any suggestions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to cover them. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe. It really motivates me to create more content like this. And if you're interested in learning how to create Ali Abdal thumbnails, don't forget to check out this video. See you in the next episode. Peace.